the gospel reflection of the day brought to you by Sister Rosalind Mombani from the Congregation of the Daughters of St. Paul. As the day begins, listen, reflect and live the word of God, the best food ever for the soul. Beloved in Christ Jesus, welcome to Monday of the 21st week in Ordinary Time, the 28th day in the month of August 2023. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our theme for reflection today is, Woe to you! Be stepping stones, not stumbling blocks to one another. The proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to Matthew chapter 23, verse 13 to 22. But woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you lock people out of the kingdom of heaven. For you do not go in yourselves, and when others are going in, you stop them. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you cross sea and land to make a single convert, and you make the new convert twice as much a child of hell as yourselves. Woe to you blind guides who say, whoever swears by the sanctuary is bound by nothing, but whoever swears by the gold of the sanctuary is bound by the oath. You blind fools, for which is greater? the gold or the sanctuary that has made the gold sacred. The Gospel of the Lord. The Gospel reading is a series of accusations that Jesus brings against the religious leaders of the time. Jesus is claiming that not only do some of the religious leaders reject his proclamation of the nearness of God's kingdom, but they put pressure on others to reject Jesus' message and ministry as well. They are a stumbling block to others coming to faith in Jesus. We are all called to be stepping stones rather than stumbling blocks to one another, to help each other towards the Lord rather than hindering each other from receiving the Lord. In every age, we need to help each other towards the Lord by the lived witness of our faith. We are to bring each other to the Lord, to reveal the Lord to one another, and in so doing, to support one another on our journey towards the kingdom of heaven. Loving friend, the Lord encourages us to know that we need to support each other's faith, each other's witness, as we journey on our pilgrim way through life. We can do this in various ways, you know. For example, by praying for each other, by witnessing to our faith when the opportunity presents itself, and just by being generous in our own response to the Lord. Whenever we try to do what the Lord may be asking of us, we make it easier for everyone else to do what the Lord may be asking of them. The journey of faith, remember, is a shared experience, and we are interdependent as we travel this journey. Yes, we can hold each other back, as Jesus accused the Pharisees of doing in this morning gospel reading. But we can also help each other along. The Lord wants to work through each and every one of us to bring one another to a deeper faith. So Jesus keeps the strongest language to condemn those who confuse the externals of religion with what might be at its heart. He accuses the leaders of closing the entrance to the kingdom, preventing others from going in and not going in themselves either and by making the observance of the law impossibly difficult by their complex interpretations of it. In pondering on this reading and the harsh words of Jesus, we should not only think of the doctors and the Pharisees of the time of Jesus, but also, and above all, of the hypocrisy found in me, in us, in our families, in our communities, 
in our church and in today's society. Whether we are parents or teachers or priests or religious, we can also by our behavior both block people's access to Jesus and be far from him ourselves. We are witnesses to the abuse of the authority and power, whether in the church or in governments, in business leading to all kinds of greed and corruption, which undermines the very fabric of societies. Remember, positions of service are turned into instruments of personal gain, often at the expense of the weakest and the most needy. We pray today for the grace to be stepping stones for one another and not stumbling blocks. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I wish you a beautiful Monday. May the Lord bless us in all our endeavors. Praise be Jesus Christ. You've been listening to the Gospel Reflection for today as brought to you by Sister Rosalie Mwambani from the Congregation of the Daughters of St. Paul. Remember to listen, reflect and live the Word of God, the best food ever for the soul.